Hey guys, Professor Phil, Comic Book University. I'm back at Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles right here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Let's go look at some of the new comic books out, yeah? So we got a whole bunch of Future State. Mind you, even though I'm not excited about these, you could be. Also, flippers, uh, all that good stuff. Uh, Dark Detective issue number one. Probably some first appearances in here. So if you're a collector, if you're looking to flip some comics, some spec on some comics, whatever, bang. Future State, uh, some more Dark Detective uh covers there's a whole bunch of them and i'll show them in the sweep we got justice league issue number one probably be some new members new faces new whatever i'm bothered that green lantern number one says also featuring guy gardner and jessica cruz pretty sure those are green lanterns also i mean if they said that there was a an extra story in here it would have a completely different meaning than what this uh indicates robin eternal i know this was on a lot of people's favorite uh, list back in the day. Let's see what a future state version can do for people. Uh, Superman Wonder Woman. So I believe this should be the second appearance of the new Wonder Woman specifically. And she's a hot character right now. She's a hot property because she's going to be that on that CBS television show. Uh, Kara Zor-El, right? Yeah, Kara Zor-El Superwoman, as it say? Super, yeah, Superwoman. Issue number one. Anyway, so a whole new thing. I, I don't know what the stuff's about. But what I am interested in is post-mortem. Let's get on to some Marvel stuff. Issue number 57 of Amazing Spider-Man. Man, three weeks in a row of just getting some new book, some new Spider-Man? Bang, bang, bang. Let's go. Granted, before we were getting the .LR stuff to make it continuous. This is a little different. Ascentica. Ascentica. Issue number one. So this is from a... From Wake Entertainment. Don't know anything about it, but it's a new comic. So uh, we're all about promoting new comics here on the channel. It's a nice cover, too. Let me show you that one again. I like that. Look at that. The legs at the bottom. Kind of looks like legs, but it's also just a little girl holding a doll or something. I'm digging on that. Okay, brand new storyline, story arc in Bloodshot, issue number 10. That's uh, our value entertainment from uh, Valiant. We've got Chris Claremont Anniversary Special. Now, there's a whole bunch of people in here. And it looks like they're all actually artists. So it's Chris Claremont. And I don't know what this is going to be about, unfortunately. I didn't look into this. Um, don't know if I'm even going to grab it, personally. But y'all let me know what this is supposed to be about, if you guys liked it, all that good stuff. So Erratic, issue number two from AWA One Shot. Going to check this out. The first book wasn't the most amazing to me. There's a review up for that. But hey, how about... Ha Ha, issue number one. So this is a hot book. Uh, I'm going to be showing you the, the cover, again, for the Carlos exclusive one, the Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles exclusive cover. And, yeah, I got good news and bad news with it. But <laughs> go and check out, check out that at the end of the video. Issue number 42 of the Immortal Hulk. All right, we're... <laughs> the, the good news is there's a new issue. The bad issue, uh, the bad news, we're getting closer to the end. Issue 50, we end it. Also, a couple varied covers out there. This is one of them. The Tales to Astonish, Hulk Submariner. That was a real comic book, but it says issue number 42. Uh, I think this is just a, uh, a variant cover, personally. So, And because it, it actually says Immortal Hulk up on top also. The Immortal Hulk. So, keep that in mind. <laughs> anyway... Um, don't go grabbing and thinking it's going to be like some ver um, uh, facsimile. We do have a vex facsimile this week. Uh, Gwenum versus Carnage, issue one, the King in Black title. Another King in Black, Planet of the Symbiotes. Another AWA one shot, issue number one of five, Man's World. Two ends. So, this guy named Man, apparently. Marauders, issue number 17. Am I reading that right? Yes, I am. Issue number 17. Man, these the days are flying. So there's a Mighty Morphin comic book out. Issue number three is out this week. This is not the main cover. There's a variant. But it's interesting. You know, they usually do the, the white covers if you want to have somebody, you know, do a sketch for you. But the black cover, it's like they got to use that specific white marker, white pen, in order to do it, which is different. I wonder how well that'll sell. But that's pretty cool if we ever start having conventions again. How about Soul Stream, issue number one? This is from Scout. It looks like Scoot. It says Scoot up on top, but above that it says Scout. So from Scout Comics, issue number one. We got Space Bastards, issue number one. How you doing? 
we've got Sword, issue number two. So, continuing the X-Men saga. The 27-Run Crush, issue number one. And this is from from Wave, a Wave Blue World. You know what? You don't make it easy to read. I don't know what to tell you. So, uh, more King and Black Thunderbolts, issue number one. I think it's a good idea for them to reactivate a Thunderbolts run just for this. The Union, also King and Black, this is issue number two. Didn't like issue one. Probably not going to be reading this one. Just saying. Power Rangers, issue number one. I, they keep on rebooting this, but if you guys keep buying it, they'll keep rebooting it. They'll keep doing whatever with them, so enjoy. I saw Shang-Chi, issue number two is out before we get another Shang-Chi comic book coming out soon. I'm trying to make that money, dude. Make that money, pimp. And uh, facsimile cover of Captain America 354. This is when John Walker takes up the mantle of U.S. agent, of Captain America... No, of, of U.S. Agent, excuse me. Yeah, he takes up the uh, mantle of U.S. Agent in this one. So, yeah, it was hard remembering that. Anyway, guys, let's uh, check out a sweep real quick. Who's interested in some toys? We got a whole bunch of new Star Trek stuff here. 
a lot of the discovery stuff. They're making a whole bunch of new ships, and they're making sure that they give us those ships. So I'm digging on that. We got a bunch of the giant size ones, so if you want a slightly larger scale. I don't even know if we can even go in scale with this. I mean, one-to-one -one scale on a ship would be um, a little ridiculous, just saying. So we've got Batman cards, World of Batman. We've got Alien Anthology trading cards. This has to be from the Dark Horse days. There's no way that this is from Marvel. Like, if this would be our first pick, that would be something. Um, and then these guys here, which actually look pretty cool. So a whole bunch of trading cards, and they actually have little dog tags inside also with several of your favorite characters, the Dossier. We got some uh, Time Lords Victorious. We got a bunch of Daleks here, well, a couple specifically. We've got these three from the Transformers Red series. And look at this, we got your army builders in. Bang, we got, uh, how many boxes of these do we have? The Red Ninjas. Oh, just one. Just one box, there's only like eight, so hurry up and get in here. Six. Six. Okay, they're really skipping us on this stuff. There's only six. If you want your army, come in and get it now. Okay, so, bang. <laughs> Call Carlos online. Like, I just saw the video and I want them all. So uh, don't expect these to be here tomorrow. It's really like that. So anyway, we've got a bunch of these guys here. Bing, -da -bing Jawas. You're probably going to need an army of Jawas also. Um, Officer Mac. I love the old McDonald's uh, characters. Randy, Macho Man Savage. If he doesn't come with the Slim Jim, I'm going to call it fake. Um, oh, there was also a Stan Lee one. You saw the Stan Lee one? Nah. Okay, there's a Stan Lee thing. <laughs> I'm going to try and show you that in a hot minute. And uh, <laughs> this is really cool right here. And uh, the ha ha sorry, they're all gone online. No more for you. But there is a chance you can call in and ask. These are the variant covers that are Carlos exclusive. That's right, Gotham Central, Comics and Collectibles exclusive. If you want one of these, pray first, then call. Actually, call first and then pray while you're um, waiting for a response. And then right here, bang. Eternals, this is hardcover. Jack Kirby, how you doing? Guys, that's it. Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles right here, Miss Saga, Ontario, Canada. Do not forget to check out the website. We've got a new web developer. Uh, let us know if he's any good or not. It's up to you. you, you we're going to put up a poll. We're not going to put up a poll, but you can still vote. <laughs> anyway, listen, don't forget to check out Haha ha, Issue Number One, Variant Cover. No promises you're going to get one, but there is a slight chance. But that's why I always post this information up here so that you can go to the website and pay attention to the new stuff that's going to be coming out. Because you never know when another variant cover is going to sell out. So uh, there's that. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to all of you later. Enjoy. Reviews forthcoming. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.